We are back to the channel. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Capricorn. All that you need to know about your soulmate situation, where things could be going, what's coming next for you, your finances. So let's start. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for the next five to six days. I feel with Queen of Wands, you're in a much better energy than you were. Uh, you're looking forward to life. You're very much optimistic. Uh, in the past, you guys were doubting something. But right, right now, you're, you have much more clarity. You are letting whatever has happened, uh, you know, pass by. And you are looking forward to life now with, with a very positive attitude, okay? Uh, with Justice card, you want to make things right for yourself. You no longer want to wait or be an option for an, an, anyone whatsoever, okay? Besides that, what do you see for Capricorn? With, with King of Swords, you you have, um, you know, uh, you're, you're going to be using a very practical approach to life now. You're not going to be letting your emotions get the better of you. Okay. In terms of your relationship, what's the major energy going to be like? Relationship with the High Priestess, things haven't been quite going well, I'd say. Uh, your person has definitely, uh, you know, like contacted you but isn't very much in uh, like uh, regular uh, contact or, or consistent okay uh, with the, the queen of pentacles here you guys do care about each other but i don't see you guys uh, re readily putting in that sort of effort okay one more card with the empress card right now i see this person being very focused on their own self okay uh this person could be a libra for some of you it could be a pisces some of you it could be a gemini leo uh, i feel this person whosoever it is is has been overly focused on on their own self like a little self-obsessed to be very, uh, quite honest okay um and with two of wands they have been looking forward to other things besides the relationship okay so in terms of how do they think about you There's no clarity when it comes to this relationship that you guys share, okay? You guys could have been work buddies or like you guys uh, could have met through a social media, something like that. Uh, I, I do not see a lot of uh, like warm connection between the two of you. Uh, I do feel this person thinks about you, but you are not their number one priority, okay? Uh, that, that's just me being honest with you. Okay, with Ten of Swords, I also believe that in the past, you guys both have tried to end it and walk past it. But I still believe that things haven't quite ended. Okay, you guys do think about each other and there's still a chapter left. Okay, so in terms of how do you think about you? With Knight of Wands, they, they definitely have an attraction towards you. They haven't, uh, you know, quite, uh, like, moved on from you. If if they want to prove that to you, that's all false shit, okay? In terms of their energy overall. Yeah, they, they are definitely looking forward to this, okay? Like, even if they may not consider you their top priority, they might not put in readily, uh, in, like, in enough effort. I still see them wanting to keep this alive, okay? In terms of that... How are their feelings for you? With eight, eight of Wands, I see a lot of sexual feelings. I do not necessarily see emotions. Okay, top card with the world card, you, you guys could be separated through distance. There's definitely emotional distance, but besides that, that they, they, they could also be physical distance. Okay, in, in terms of heart space. Heart space, I'm, I'm getting a very clear message that they are someone who is more obsessed about being successful financially than about partnership, about family, okay? Uh, right now, their number one priority is their finances, financial success, okay? Uh, they might be someone who is wanting to make a name for themselves and they're not so bothered about relationships, okay? One more card. They, they, they are definitely stuck on you, but not that into you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, are they wanting to offer something serious for now? No, I, I still see the on and off game going on between the two of you. They are not going to come in honestly. They are not going to come come in, uh, you know, with uh, true intentions. I still see them, you know, uh, like being uh, inconsistent. Okay. I still see them being in and out, out, uh, out of your life, not coming in with the pure intention of making things work. Okay. Even, like, even if they come forward... How can you expect them? I do believe that if even if they come back, I, I don't see it lasting quite long, okay? 
like they'll come back but they'll also take a break after that soon after that okay with page of swords they are not ready for you they are not ready for a relationship they, they definitely consider you someone close like a soulmate but uh, they are not ready to invest uh, to stay together okay so in terms of that their major intentions for now we have the justice we have five of swords so this person will try to make you believe that they're coming back to fix things but it's all uh, you know masked with their uh, you know way they behave the way they talk to you but they won't take the necessary action they like they won't put in the necessary effort i mean they will uh, they will want to fix it but if you do not put in the necessary effort it comes to nothing right in in terms of that uh, like where do things going Uh, so with nine of wands, it won't really come to anything. You may be uh, in co in communication terms. That is about it. Over uh, that, besides, I feel you guys might e e even have a small fight or a small argument because of you know uh, their lack of interest or their lack of uh, you know them putting an effort or wanting to make uh, uh, like things work. You know what I'm saying? So for now, what are the major obstacles or blockages? blockages i feel that ace of wands is they are not coming in uh, with the intention of building on it of investing of uh, working uh, so that things can last forever no they are they are not putting in the uh, necessary effort that they can put okay so they are not like using their 100% potential they are hardly, hardly do, uh, giving in like 40 okay in terms of that what else do we see and they're much more focused on their finances than their love life okay with the temperance card they are they are, they are more focused on finding balance in their personal life okay like uh like you see them hiding someone they haven't been quite successful in terms of uh, like of their relationship okay like even if they had someone from the past even that person left them for not putting in enough efforts okay so besides that what do we see coming in capricorn's life we definitely see a lot of changes i believe quite honestly you will you will uh, put an end to this relationship with this individual because you are tired of this uh, person you have had enough besides that financially what do we see Financially, I believe you're moving in the right direction. You're much more positive. You're much more optimistic. And uh, you're going forward with 100%, you know, like a positive mindset. Okay. With uh, Knight of Cups, whatever you're working on, I see the uh, due, due results uh, being in your favor. You may also get uh, plenty of new chances of making new money or more money. Okay. Uh, with Seven of Cups, I see you getting a uh, plenty of options for the, like, uh, you know, uh, like, in a positive way okay i'd say okay so in terms of new love new love i i feel you're you're not quite ready for that okay with nine of swords you are uh, still stuck in in terms of why this person treated you like this you won't put in that effort if, even if you meet someone new uh you are uh, trying to just stay focused on yourself for now and uh, i i believe it's the right thing to do okay it's the right thing to, to just heal hold back and in, in terms of finances, it's going to go really, really well for you. So that is all I have for Capricorn. If it resonated, kindly hit the like button. Every like counts. I know you guys are practical and, and, and you'd know the importance of a like. It helps me get more rich and that's how we grow. If you feel uh, it, it was worth your time, please do hit the like button. Do let me know in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. We have a 15% discount code going on for all reads. If you're interested in something much more personal, then you could go to the website and book one for yourself. Thank you so much for coming in and I hope to see you guys soon. Cheers. Love you all.